I'm so excited to work with these awesome two dancers. I've never done anything like this before. We really want the audience to just feel something and to feel moved and to feel inspired. I'm really just kind of anxious to see what's going to come out of something like this. My name is Christina Grimmy, and I'm a singer, songwriter, piano player. I love soulful vocals. They've always been my favorite. Strings, I love strings as well. I started out on YouTube, and you know, I look at artists like Christina Aguilera, who I'm like, she can sing anything. She can belt it, and I'm like, I want to do that. Keone and Mari are the two dancers I'm going to be working with. Uh, they are a couple, which is great. <laughs> Our styles are actually still, to this day, really different from each other. Uh, but working together, it's cool because it's almost like we have three different styles. We have mine, we have Mari's, and then we have the one together. Keone and I first met at a workshop that we were both teaching at. There was no real interest that was sparked then. There was definitely no interest. <laughs> when I went up to her, to introduce myself and be very nice. I was thinking to myself, okay, I'm gonna be a gentleman. I'm gonna say hi, I'm gonna be this and that. And, you know, I stick out my hand and say hi, and all I get is a stone face of hi. And I'm just like, oh, she hates me. Totally. Exactly. I was, no, no, this is exactly how it happened. <laughs> We've always had a piano in the house, um, and I would just kind of toy with it and make up my own little songs. Where's my pencil? <laughs> When I sit down to write at the piano, it's, it's not a job, it's not a chore, it's not homework, because all of those things require... <sighs> it's never a chore. You know, it's a creative process. I remember the idea of us choreographing was very, oh, I don't want us to get mad at each other, and I don't want us to, this to ruin our relationship, and da 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 but it ended up being a blessing in disguise. We've been able to collaborate on everything ever since. Christina, I feel like because she comes from a YouTube background, we have that in, to share. Like we, we, we both come from that kind of like new generation social networking type of background. And man, the girl can belt. Her voice is amazing. Just the way that they flow together. Their passion for each other, their passion for dance, you can tell that's what they love to do. It's gonna be crazy because I created a whole new version of one of my songs and I feel like having a couple who are insane dancers dance to that, it's gonna bring out the best and I can't wait to see what it, it turns out to be. Christina? Mari, nice to meet you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> are you guys dating or are you no, married? No, we're actually, we're engaged. You're we're engaged, engaged. Okay. Yeah. I can be the maid of honor. <laughs> <laughs> of course, like, we just met, so like, <laughs> but. So yeah, let's talk about the, the song. But I wanted to kind of strip it down and make it uh, just straight piano so you guys really mm -hmm. have something to emotionally get connected with. Well, I'm excited to see what we come up with. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've never worked with dancers before, so this should be <laughs> interesting. Well, one thing I thought was, oh my gosh, this girl is not 17 years old, because <laughs> her voice is really powerful and uh, it sounds really mature. Obviously, I thought about, okay, how does this song make me feel? And this, I think the second part was, how can we relate this to real life? Let's say we made it into a, like a, a date kind of thing. Uh, some sort of like room over here, and then like where Mari can be, and then we had like the majority of the stage could be like a, a restaurant or something. Yeah, okay, where so like, here I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. Keone is basically being a gentleman and like pulling out my chair so I can sit down and pushing the chair in. It's almost like choreographed acting with some uh, little, little, movement. little movements here and there. It was so cool to see what they could pick out of one of my songs. You're like 
at the point where you're just like scared now and you're like, no, I don't want you to be nice to me. I'm too, I'm too afraid now. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna work. And then you're kind of saying the same thing. Like, you're like, no, no, this can totally work. This, the, and then by any more, like you kind of take over in a sense, like you make her believe it. Right. A lot of people in, in the dance world, their first passion is dance. Uh, for me, it wasn't. My first passion was basketball. As I started to become more involved with dancing, uh, I, I saw a mixed response between my family members and, and even the closest people around me. Uh, it, it was more so, oh, when are you gonna stop dancing? Or when are you gonna finish school? The first time I made that decision, that jump, to make dance my career and something that I'm gonna pursue. Many fears, many concerns ran through my head, uh, but I felt a calling that this was what I was supposed to be doing. Dance really helped me, particularly in high school, because I was not very comfortable in that environment. I didn't really enjoy high school that much. When I started dancing, it really helped build my confidence and helped me get over my shyness and helped me learn how to interact with other people in a social environment. My songwriting usually isn't always about my life experiences. Uh, and then you have the other side where they are. <laughs> and uh, one experience in particular, um, uh, there was just this really complicated relationship going on, uh, me and a guy, of course. And he, you know, it was a confrontational thing. Me and this other girl had to c confront him. And uh, he kind of just froze and was like, all right, Christina, I lied to you way more than I lied to this other girl. <laughs> ah, that, that hurt. That hurt really bad. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Mari has this moment where she, she like pulls away and it's like, that's so cool because I just thought of something in my mind like, okay, well, when she pulls away, maybe I'll play this note more dramatically or more insecurely. She's like, oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. And I kind of reached back towards her and she's like, well, I don't know, you know, she's still very insecure. So that, that was, I think that was a big theme throughout the choreography that we were trying to play around with today. It's gonna be easy for me to channel this character that's kind of insecure and unsure about herself because that's part of who I am and who I was. Now that I just see how hard they work to get to a certain point, it's like a newfound respect for them. It's not just, oh, it's just a hobby. No, it's like a way of life. But yeah! That good. Woo! It totally worked! <laughs> Something's bound to change And I know I have been to blame Washing away this error of madness Who won't come and spread no shame Cause I've been waiting, watching and praying For you to go insane I've been
Because I cease to play your game The performance was amazing. It went so well, and Keone and Mari, they just, oh my gosh, they're just so good at what they do, it's ridiculous. It, it came together, it really did, and it was the fastest we've ever actually put together a piece. He would always say, he says, I love you while we're dancing, and like when he said that, like, I can't help it. It's not, it's not performing anymore, or acting, or trying to do something, it's just me reacting to him. It's so inspiring on so many levels as a musician. I will remember this experience on Remixed for the rest of my life. <laughs>